Hi kids, hope you're all keeping well and safe. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a chicken and chorizo potato. I've got a little help today today. This is my grandson James. Say hello. Go say hello. No? Oh, okay, doke. Right, I've got some eggs, six eggs. I've got about a cup full of cheese. Yep, I know that. I don't like cheese. You like cheese, don't you? Yeah. We've got some chorizo no, and we've got some chicken. Like I've already cooked it, sliced it and everything. Okay. And I've also got a oven proof dish that I've just put some butter around to make sure that it doesn't stick. Okay. Right. I'm going to now break all my eggs up into the bowl. Right, are you going to have a stir? Oh, you're doing a good job of that. A bit quicker. Yeah. Oh. Right, I'm going to add some pepper and a pinch of salt. So you keep stirring. And then you keep putting it in you stir. Okay. You get some pep uh, salt. Right, come on. Give it a good stir. Nanny help you? Oh, it's nice. Is it nice? Yeah. We've not even cooked it yet. Yeah. Yeah. So just give it a good whip. The more air you get in this, the more lighter and fluffier that it will become. Can we have cooked. chicken inside? We are going to put chicken inside, aren't we? Nothing I've else. also put the oven on, preheated Nothing the oven at a 180. So if you put that on before you start, then it'll be nice and hot for when you put it in. Do you want to have another stir? No. No? Have you had enough now? Do you want to put in the chicken for Nana? Oh yeah. So you pour that in. Don't put don't touch it with your hands, just pour it in. Okay? Empty it in. Okay? <gasps> Good boy. And do you want to do the chorizo? Do the same with that. Pour that in. Okay. Yeah. Let's just give it a little bit of help. Yeah. Can we have some more? Back. Let's get some cheese. We do need to put some cheese in, don't we? Right. So the cheese. Don't put all your cheese in, just a, little, a bit of it. Say, say about half of it. So I'm going to get a handful of cheese and sprinkle that in. By the way, I did wash my hands. Can I try one? Can you try what? One of the cheese in there. You sure can. When Nanny's finished, you can try, okay? Give it another good stir. Like I said, the more air that you get in this, the more fluffier that it will become. Okay? So I would say that that is done. So get your oven proof dish and just pour it in. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Mm. Is it done? Try and space out your meat and chorizo around the dish so that it's not all in one place. Now something else that I like to do with this is Oh, missed a bit. Is get some barbecue sauce. Dun, dun. Now, all I do is just get the barbecue sauce Oop. and just. Oh, I like barbecue. Not a lot. I like barbecue sauce. Do you like barbecue sauce? Yeah. Ooh. And just. Leave it, don't mix the barbecue sauce in, just leave it sat on the top like that. The rest of your cheese, sprinkle on the top. You sure can have some cheese. Not a lot, just a little bit. Sprinkle it on the top and leave it like that. That's it, it's done. Really easy, really simple. I'm sure you will be able to make this yourself. I would love to see a video of you doing it. Uh, or even some photos that you have tried to do yourself. 
that's it now I'm going to put this in the oven about 20 minutes 25 minutes I'll have to keep checking on it um, but we'll come back and I'll show you what it's like when it's finished okay, okay. right my fatata's done it took me 25 minutes to cook just give it a press on the top to make sure that it's nice and firm and it should, because I uh, greased it before, it should just come straight out. Okay. So, let's cut this up. Alright. Let me just grab something to um, get it out. So be careful, you might want to get an adult to help you. And there we go. Nice slice of potato with new potatoes and salad. That's what we're having for lunch today. So why don't you try and give it a bash yourselves and send some pictures in or some videos. I would love to see them. Happy cooking.